in Happy Minus Wednesday and it's Hannah from Classy Bathing Hut and Cam is assistant in the shape of my husband who's been lovingly growing this beautiful grizzly beard <laughs> for me to show you and sort of talk through a little bit about skincare for guys and maintaining and growing a healthy beard. So, so number one in sort of prepping the skin for healthy beard growth would be just daily cleansing, so morning and evening. So with Sassy Bathing Heart, you have two options really. So you've got your foamy facial cleanser, which we're gonna be using today, because Ryan's skin is quite oily, and it sort of suffers quite badly with sort of breakouts, congestion, and um, so foamy facial cleanser is amazing for that sort of skin type. It's amazing for all skin types, and it's super easy for sort of use in the shower. But if you feel like you're someone who's a little more drier, um, and suffer with, with like quite dry, flaky, sort of um, broken skin, then just using the coconut oil will be amazing for you. So using a little bit of coconut oil, warming it through the palms, and then applying to the face and just removing with a muslin cloth. But I'm just gonna demo with the foamy facial, foamy facial cleanser today, just because it suits my skin type a little bit more, um, and it's super simple for guys as well. If you're using it during your shower time, that's what Ryan does, um, so skincare for guys shouldn't be crazy with lots of steps. Um, it's super simple and it's easy for use in the shower. And you can also use your coconut oil in the shower as well, totally up to you. Um, but yeah, so a couple of pumps into the palms. So it works a little bit better with damp skin. So I'm just going to dampen Ryan's skin first. So just with a little bit of water. Just like so. But your skin would always would normally be damp anyway because obviously it would be in the shower. Um, yeah, legs so. off. And then just a couple of pumps of foamy facial cleanser. So I'm going to use a little bit more than I would do then on myself because um, we're moisturising and cleansing the beard as well. So it's going to be foaming a little bit into the beard. into any areas that you feel like you need a little bit more focus on. So congestion areas, areas of dryness. So the foamy facial cleanser has seaweed and blackberries in. So super high in antioxidants, which are gonna help to protect and soften the skin while drawing out all those impurities as well. So. remove with a flannel, hot cloth or a bamboo, muslin cloth, whatever you fancy. I've just got a couple of mitts here to use. And not forgetting the neck as well. So when you are cleansing, cleansing down to the neck because that area is also exposed to quite a lot of pollution, daily dirt and sweat and grime. Now Ryan's skin is clear and clean, if you were doing like a weekly routine and you were prepping your skin to try to grow a beard from sort of a bare face, then definitely incorporating a exfoliant into your regime would be amazing for you. I mean, Ryan's got quite a, a dense beard at the moment anyway. If you're someone that's, that suffers with like patchy growth or sort of itchy and stubborn hairs that won't come through to the surface, then exfoliating is for you. So, what exfoliating is going to do is help to buff away those dead skin cells and like cleansing it's going to help to soften the top layers of the skin as well so that when hair growth comes through and tries to penetrate through the skin layers and out to the surface that area is going to be soft and supple so that when the hair comes through it's not going to get trapped and then sort of grow down on e into each other so that's going to be when you'll start going to feeling like that and um, the dryness the soreness, the ingrown hairs, all that sort of stuff. So exfoliating is going to really, really help to sort of combat that. So that would be step two in the regime, but I'm not going to do that today. Um, but it can be just super simple, even adding a little bit of uh, sort of sugar or um, Epsom salt or something like that, just a very fine, fine um, grade. 
into your coconut oil, mixing that together and sort of scrubbing that over or using our bamboo pre-shave scrub. So we use that, it's all linked in the, in the description um, and also in the, um, on the blog as well. So you can use that, which we sell at Sassy Bay. It's not one of our products, but it's an amazing little pre-shave pre -shave scrub um, that you can use there as well. So definitely using that. And then going in with shave. So as Ryan's beard is growing quite long, it needs like a bit of taming. He, has, he normally would sort of like carve out the shape. But because where it's got quite long and Ryan's feeling like it's a little bit, it needs to go because Ryan normally has like a bare face, but um, just for the purpose of this video, he's lovingly grown it. <laughs> and so we're gonna do like a little bit of a shape up just to show you and experiment with the styles. So during lockdown, it's the perfect time to experiment with styles. There's loads of styles floating around on the internet. If you feel like you wanna go a little bit out there and experiment, then go for it. The mint overboard, so the shaving soap, is super, super lovely to create that long-lasting lather so that it gives you that opportunity to experiment with styles. So what I was going to do is demonstrate the lovely lather that's, that's, that this product brings, um, and then go and shave Rye. <laughs> well, Rye's going to go and shave, and then we'll come back, do like a little like taming, ah, da -da, it's done, um, and then I will then go back and then just um, do a clean shave just to show you all the different stages that this product can give and um, so this product just like a, a little overview mint overboard it's a super super hydrating but also really sort of drawing so it's going to help to draw out those impurities the french green clay in here is sort of what, what we'd use in a face mask so you could even use this and um, leave it on as like a really intense sort of um, drawing out of those impurities and things like that to really help with congestion and clog the pores. Um, but it's also sort of super, super hydrating with castor oil, olive oil, shea butter. Um, so it's going to be super nourishing and softening for the skin and for the hair as well. So there's nothing worse than when, you, I mean, we've all experienced it, a razor burn when that sort of you've been razoring and, and shaving and it sort of got quite sore and irritated. That really, really helps to combat that. And the mint in itself is quite cooling and soothing for the skin as well. So if you're someone that suffers quite a lot with irritated, um, sore sort of razor burn afterwards, it's going to really help to combat that as well. So just to give you a little overview, um, the shaving soaps come in two different options. So you've got the mint overboard. So someone suited a little bit more for sort of um, oilier to normal skin type. Like I said before, you've got the green clay in there, so it's going to help to draw out those impurities. And we also have almonds ahoy, which is someone which is more suited for someone that's like sensitive, quite dry. So the almonds itself is super high in antioxidants and super rich in nourishing, and it's going to help to sort of really sort of pack that that moisture and nourishment into the skin while softening and soothing those areas as well. So if you're super sensitive and dry, definitely go for almonds ahoy. Um, but yes, yeah, so I thought I'd show you how to use this product. Um, I mean, I'm no barber, but <laughs> we'll have a go. Um, so when you're ordering the product online, um, just it's totally up to you which option you want to go for. But if you haven't got a little brush, Sassy Bathing Heart do a little uh, brush, which is non-synthetic, so it's not going to be, um, there's no harm to any animals or anything like that, of course, that would be totally against what we would do anyway. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's super soft and easy to sort of really create that look that lovely foam so going in with your brush um first of all just dampening so just dampening the brush with some warm water sort of going back to that traditional method of the of the stick um not stick brush and lather so you can already see that lovely lather that's now like forming so should we dampen it a little bit more Whoop. <laughs> so maybe do this over your sink <laughs> but yeah you can now see that lovely lather that's started to really come through and then we're just gonna go in with the thing so this also is gonna help to exfoliate the skin as you're going through so like I said before with its soft bristles it's gonna create like a, a gently exfoliating effect Smell good? Yeah. Good. I'm glad you enjoy it. <laughs> I mean, 
my granddad uses um, this as well, and he absolutely loves the lather that it brings because it almost sort of stays on the skin, so that even if you're not a confident shaver, you can sort of go over with some water and just boost that lather back up. <laughs> you look fun. <laughs> Literally, a little goes a long way. I was just dampening the the brush and just adding a little bit more, just to create a little bit of extra foam on this side. I mean, I'm not a barber, but what does that feel? Lovely. <laughs> Soft. Yeah. Ready for shaving? Yes. Lovely. Right. So, should we go shave? Yeah. I think you're ready. Let's go. <laughs> I just come and show you the little result so you can see it's super smooth dry skin here for super smooth it's super easy as well because it, the lather grow the lather um, stays for a long time so that you can like have a little play around with your experimenting with your style back up your chin up for me and even like underneath where it's quite thick you can see it's quite easy to get like quite a, a straight line um, but yeah, I mean, I'm no barber, but hopefully, hopefully, ooh, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I'm no barber, but hopefully you can see the amazing result. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so what we're going to do is go and shave Ryan bare face and then to show you sort of like the finished article from that. Okay, so we're back from shaving bare face. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd show you just how smooth and the result that we got from using the lovely shaving soap. Um, so you can see my skin now is super soft, super clear, and there's no sort of abrasions or soreness or anything like that. It feels super soft. I wish you could feel it. Um, but how does it feel for you, Ryan? It does feel super soft. Amazing. <laughs> um, yes, so let me just put you back. So when it comes to finishing off and caring for your bristle brush and your shaving soap as well, so all you need to do with this is just leave it. Um, just If there's some hair and stuff in there, just obviously go over and just pick those out. Um, but just leave it as it is, just to dry out. It dries out quite quickly. I mean, we've literally just come back and it's almost dry already. Um, so just leave it so it dries out and then pop the lid on just to conserve that lovely minty smell. So just leaving it, popping the lid on, and then with your brush, just rinsing it out, making sure that it's all clean and there's no sort of uh, residue of soap or hair left in there as well. And then just literally drawing it upright on your bathroom side or wherever you do your shave. <laughs> Super simple. Um, and then finishing off your whole uh, cleansing routine and shaving routine with a moisturiser. So moisturise is super important um, for protecting your skin going forward and sort of going out into the environment. So like I said before, with antioxidants, anti um, antioxidants help protect the skin from lots of free radicals and pollutants that are all in our environment. So they're constantly attacking the skin um, and taking away all the good looking things. So that can then speed up premature aging, can um, sort of sometimes contribute to congestion and dryness and oiliness, all that sort of stuff. Um, so what you want to do is protect your skin from all of those things with uh, antioxidant rich moisturiser. So you have a couple of options with South Amazing Heart. Um, just for this video, because Ryan's quite uh, bare faced now, what I'm going to do is start to treat his skin. Um, so looking for a rehydrating moisturiser. Um, and for that we're going to use a facial treatment oil. Um, just as like a daily moisturiser and a rescue just to soften skin um, and just to help to um, promote that healthy hair growth when it does come back through um, to use the facial treatment oil. So I'm just going to use a couple of pumps because literally one pump is plenty for Rye. Um, just warm through the palms and then just apply to the face and also the neck as well, always working upward motions like I said before. 
for and to defy gravity and work on those lifting and toning those muscles. So you could also do like a little bit of facial massage here on yourself. So just always working upwards. I've done a couple of videos on facial massage um, so you can use and watch those. Um, but yeah, focusing on any areas of dryness, not forgetting that over the nose. Like so. Like so. <laughs> so that's just the facial treatment oil. Um, but Sassy Bathing Hut do also have a face and beard oil. So it's kind of like a one pot wonder. So it does the skin and the hair as well. So if you're growing a beard and you're looking to sort of really stimulate that hair growth and grow quite a dense and long beard, then the face and beard oil is amazing for you because it has um, sort of ingredients inside there that are going to help to stimulate that hair growth, soften the hair as well. So when it comes through the skin, it's going to it's going to come through healthily and not get trapped. Um, and it's going to give that appearance of like a tamed, long, lovely beard. <laughs> um, so you've got two options that you can choose from. So you've got the head sail, which is scented with black pepper and lime. And you've got ship shape, which is unscented. So it's just a super nourishing oil. So, oh, what? I've got a light on my face. <laughs> um, so each oil is perfect for all skin types, all hair types, all that sort of stuff. So um, it totally depends on whether you prefer a scented oil or a unscented but the lime and the black pepper is, is a lovely, naturally um, gentle masculine scent without it being too overpowering, so it's really, really lovely. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. Remember to go on over to their website and you'll find the blog, the link to all the products as well, um, and also if you decide to order, then you get um, fifteen pound uh, free delivery over £15, and if you sign up to be on the mailing list, you get 10% off the whole order as well. Um, but yeah, that's everything. I don't know what it looks like I have a mask on <laughs> with the sun. Um, but yeah, have you enjoyed it? That was the best part of my life. Oh, of course. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, so now we just need to sort the hair out. Yeah. I, I don't know whether I've got the confidence to do that, but yeah. We'll see. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs>